to have you all here. Minister Reeves and your wife, Sister Kellen Reeves, we're happy to have you all here with us on today. And preacher, will this day be a day that you never forget? One that you will always remember and may you draw strength from what is about to take place now. For we are about to license this preacher with a license from this body. Authorizing you to exercise your gift. Go out and change lives and add to the vineyard. We're going to ask Pastor Aaron Brown, the pastor of Unity Missionary Baptist Church. He's going to come preacher and give you a charge for a charge you do have to keep. To God be the glory for all the great things that he has done for the great things that he is doing, the great things that he is going to do in your life. This is a great occasion, not just in the life of this church and this pastor, but in the lives of both of you. A preacher is simply a paper boy. A paper boy has just one job. And that is to deliver the paper. The paper boy never writes anything in the paper. The paper boy is not authorized to take anything out of the paper. The paper boy is just called to deliver the paper. When it's sunny, throw the paper. When the rain falls, throw the paper. That's what Paul told Timothy. He said to preach, be instant in season and out of season. He said, son, you got to keep throwing the paper. So I charge you, Minister Reeves, to throw the paper. The word of God. That's right. That's right. Remember, this is Palm Sunday. Jesus triumphantly enters into Jerusalem. And when he gets into Jerusalem, there's a crowd of folks there, and they're waving their palm branches. And the question was asked in that 21st chapter of Matthew, verse 10, who is this? And the answer was, this is Jesus of Nazareth. So I charge you, Minister Reeves, to tell the people and to answer the question, who is this? Tell him that he's Savior, he's Lord. He's the one who came, suffered, bled, and died on the cross of Calvary. Got up on the third day, declaring that all power is in his hand. I charge you to tell who this is. Don't tell them who you are. But tell them who called you and who made you to be who you are charge you to always remember that preaching is not performance. That's right. That's right. God never calls us to entertain, but he calls us to feed his people the word of God. God has given you a great task. God has said to you, Minister Reeves, take my word and talk about me and tell the people about me. So I charge you to preach the gospel. I charge you to be faithful to your pastor. There can only be one chef in the kitchen. And God has Raymond Young here as your pastor. Be faithful to your pastor. Amen. Be faithful to your wife Amen. that God has given unto you. If I tell folks all the time, it's God, your spouse, your family, and the church. Because you can't take care of church stuff if you don't take care of your spouse and your family. So I charge you to be faithful. Be true and honest to your wife. Be faithful to God and to this church. And God's going to open up doors for you. He's going to open up windows for you.
and pour you our blessings that you won't have enough room to receive. This is the charge to you. Will you preach the gospel and will you live up to these charges that is given to you on this day? God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Rabbi Brown. Amen. Next, we will have the presentation of the Bible and hymnal by Evangelist James Ford. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Being the, being the big uncle, praise the Lord. I count it an honor and a privilege to have this uh, time to come before you all. And as the Lord was using him and he was up there, praise God, my mind ran back on many years. <laughs> praise the Lord. It says, anything too hard for God. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember one time back, praise the Lord, every night he had to go clubbing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But look how good God is. Is anything too hard for God? Amen. Praise the Lord. So I count it an honor and a privilege, praise God, to present you with the Bible, the Word of God, the hymn, and the hymn book, praise the Lord. I count it an honor and a privilege. Praise the Lord. And like the minister said, praise the Lord, but carrying the meal or, or being a service in the, for the mailman, praise the Lord. I'm going to present this to you, praise the Lord, and always remember. Big Unk will be watching as you carry the meal. So you know what that means. Big Unk will be watching. Amen. 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 Sister Reeves. Sister Reeves, I want to thank you for being the person that you are. He's a preacher. But you're carrying the load as well. That's right. You're going to have to stand by this man. You're going to have to become a part of his ministry. You all are going to have to be a team. So my prayers are with you and my prayers are with this preacher. That from this point forward, God will just begin to strengthen you both. Come what may, you all will weather the storm. Preacher, it is my great honor to be able to present you with this certificate of license. This is to certify Minister Melvin Reeves, who has given evidence that God has called him into the gospel ministry, was licensed to preach the gospel as he may have opportunity and to exercise his gifts in the work of the ministry by Rock Hill Baptist Church at 975 South Live Oak Drive in the big city of Monk's Corner, South Carolina. On the ninth day of April, in the year of our Lord, 2017, signed yours truly. Minister Reeves, as I present this to you, myself and the family of Rock Hill Baptist Church take great honor and pride in welcoming you to our ministerial staff. Amen. To God be the glory. At this time, we're going to have the right hand of fellowship by all of the preachers. Now, preachers, I, we, 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 we going to look real crazy because bumping each Preachers, why don't y'all come on behind me and start a line here so y'all can shake her hand first and get on out of the way. We Let us look organized. Amen. Amen. Come on this way. Yes. Thank you, preachers. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all want me to sing? I'll, I'll turn it out. And that's not in a good way. 
I mean, I'll clear the building up, turn out. Come on, preacher, and give them the right hand of fellowship. Amen. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want, Lord. Jesus on the main line. Well, Jesus on that main line. Why don't you call him up? Well, why don't you call him up? Call him up. Oh, Lord, call him up. Call him up. Well, call him up. Call him up. Why don't you call him up? Well, if you need more power. Oh, Lord, if you need more power. Well, if you need more power. Oh, why don't you call him up and... Yeah, Jesus on the main line. Oh, Lord, Jesus on the main line. Yeah, Jesus on the main line. Well, call him up. Well, why don't you call him up? Call him up. Oh, Lord, call him up. Call him up. Well, call him up, call him up. Why don't you call him up and tell him, oh, 